Today we'll make this succulent planter box. Keep watching. Okay, everybody, we're going to start off with some of these larger popsicle sticks. Some succulents of all different sizes. I have some that are potted and some that are picks. They came from Dollar Tree and the thrift store. They have a nice variety at Dollar Tree, though. They even have some pastels right now. I'm going to reuse this box. I've already used it a few times uh, from another project. And then this decor sign. This wall art, framed art from the Dollar Tree. Very pretty. I like the frame and everything on this, so we're going to leave it as is. Just going to remove your plastic wrap. Then we're going to have to find a way to attach it to our box. You can certainly put it down on the inside if you want, but it's going to give you less space to um, have height on your greenery. So we're going to go over to the back and use our popsicle sticks as a support for the framed art. I've already kind of checked this out and decided, kind of eyeballed where I want this to be. So I'm going to use three sticks and some good old Gorilla Hot Glue, and that ought to do the trick. So this is our framework, and it's going to hold our picture up nicely. Just to give you an idea, that's what we're going to do with it. Now we're going to put the glue on the sticks. Be sure you get enough on there so that it's got a lot of grip. Center it back down between your sides. I just kind of used my fingers to measure it there. Then press it down and give it a little time to dry. What a weird angle, right? <laughs> All right, so this is what your planter box base will look like. I'm going to change the angle up a little for you and here we have some styrofoam that came from something I got probably from Amazon you can see in the reflection there in the glass that I'm cutting a piece to go on the end I just use my metal ruler to just press down and take those apart these are some rocks from my driveway the rocks are going to give it some weight and it's going to be rather than using moss we're going to use the rocks as the sort of the bottom, which you're going to see underneath when you look around your picks. So some of these picks have really large, thick, see that one fell apart, you can just glue that back together with some hot glue, but some of the picks have like a really thick stem and that's not going to work for what I want to do. I want something smaller for that, so there is a solution, so keep watching. And if I was to take these and put them all straight down on here and glue them on, there would be no dimension. There'd be no taller and layering pieces. And I want these to be some taller, some shorter, like if you planted them, how they would grow naturally. See how thick that stem is? Just gonna pop that right out. If your layers come apart, a little bit of hot glue on the inside, you can put them back together. So these are some thin, thin sticks or dowels that I got from Goodwill. I'm just breaking them and snapping them apart. They don't have to look great. You don't have to cut them unless you just want to. You're just going to press those up through the bottom, twist them in there, and use those as your stems. Now, if you don't have those or if they are too thick for what you have, the hole that's underneath the base of your, um, your succulent, then just go ahead and use some leftover maybe floral or greenery picks that you had cut the tops off of and use those stem pieces. They're wired, they're already green, and they work great for this. Plus they're flexible and you can bend them, whereas the wood dowels are not flexible. I'm placing these kind of randomly and at an angle. You can group yours together if you would like, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna kind of space them out a little bit and give a little more interest when you look at it. So I'm kind of dividing up the shapes and the styles of these picks. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm so glad to have you here. I hope that you will subscribe to the channel. We'd love to have you as part of our YouTube family. 
Comment below if you're ready for sunshine and summer DIYs. And if you like anything that I'm doing here on my channel, please give me a thumbs up and share the video with people that you think would also enjoy it or get some value from it. Okay, so my taller pieces, I'm gonna just put those toward the back and they are on wire, so they're a little easier to just bend slightly. Succulents don't really have a lot of bend to them that I've seen um, in, you know, the live ones. So I don't wanna get too crazy with them. Now, two options. You could either use these little potted pieces as is and just place them down, which I think is really cute. Or if you have curious kids like me who like to, oh look mom, what is that? Then you might wanna just go ahead and take those out and add those in there outside of the pot. And they are on little metal picks, so you can just go ahead and place those down without adding anything to them. I was so inspired by the picture back there that I knew I had to do something. I thought maybe a wreath, but then I thought, well, maybe not. I've seen lots of the, the wreaths with succulents on them, so maybe a planter box would be something a little bit different for you. Kind of expand your way of seeing things and give you a little inspiration of changing things up. Now you'll see me just taking those rocks there and of course knocking out some picks I already had down. That's okay, they'll pop right back in. Just gonna take that gravel and just place it all down in the bottom. There's a gap between the foam and the box and I'm just adding that in there in that little trench and then around the bottom. So if you look at this from any angle, what you'll see is the gravel instead of the white foam. If you use green foam, that won't be that much of an issue, but I think if I ever had a live succulent garden, I would want the, the bottom or the base to be gravel, right? You know, or wood chips, but you wouldn't necessarily use anything that's going to hold moisture because succulents need drainage. So the gravel is a good option. And there are all kinds of different gravels. You can get the peak gravel that's got the multicolor, this kind of brownish red when you look at it. But what I had in my area is this. There's also gravel that has shell in it, and that would probably be really nice, especially if you have a coastal theme in your house. That'd be pretty. This works for me. And you see everything just pops right back in. If you don't want to use your items over again, and if you don't think you'll be reusing it, then just add a little hot glue to the bottoms before you place these down. Then they won't pop out, and it'll last you a long time. But you know how I do it. I like to recycle and reuse my items. Very few things um, are kept. I like to change it up. That little pop of brighter green in the front is nice. And some of the pieces kind of hang over the sides of the box, which I like. It's more of a natural look. What do you think so far? Pretty good? Would you do the pastels? Or do you like the green better? Okay, so you just keep on doing this, adding that gravel until you get the bottom completely covered. Simple, simple. I'm going against the frame. I'm going around all the corners. Gravel, gravel. For those of you who are subscribed and have been with me for a long time, I appreciate you so much. I love all your supportive and encouraging comments. It's so good to have you all come back time and time again to watch my videos. I do try to post Monday, Wednesday, Friday, with exceptions if I have a collaboration. It might be on a Sunday or a different day, but still three videos a week. Here's our end project. I'm interested to know if you will be making one of these for yourself. They're really nice. Thank you so much for watching and for stopping by my channel and I'll see you again soon. Bye!